Hey there, it's so great to see you again in my second video of this art lesson series. In the last video, we spoke about the flicking technique to give a realistic feel to your art. If you have not seen it yet, you can check my channel for the playlist of this series. In this video, we will talk about the graphite pencils. I feel it is really very important to understand the different attributes of a pencil that have an impact on your art. Picking the right pencil at the right time will bring your art to life. So let's begin. So this is our drawing exercise to know your pencils in which we will discuss about the graphite pencil. So whenever you are doing any graphite artwork, there are various of pencils available in the market, lot of brands and lot of numbers. So here we are not discussing about the brand but definitely we are discussing about the numbers on the pencil. As you see here, it's 2HB pencil. Every kid in the school use 2HB pencil. So what is this H and B? H is for the hardness and B is for the blackness. So in 2HB it's a combination of both. In H pencil the lead is very hard and in the B lead is soft. H pencil writes light and the B pencil writes pretty dark. So how it works, how you should supposed to choose which pencil to pick to draw what. So that's why I'm just making this small line chart for you. You can also make this chart. It really helps to start and to find out the right value. Both H and B pencils start and end from 10H to 1H or the 10B to 1B. So the 10H is the lightest pencil and 10B is the darkest pencil. So I'm just using some random pencils which are lying around with me right as of now. So like this is C6H, it's pretty light. 5H is also light but little darker than 6H. So I'm just using some random pencils here. So that's how you are supposed to just scribble your pencil and to know that what is the value you can get from that pencil. This is really useful to draw your all the graphite drawing. Until or unless you understand the values of your all pencils, it's really difficult to pick the right one. As you go along with me in this tutorial, you will see a lot of examples and samples like how to choose the right pencil for what kind of artwork. So before we show up any example, I'm just making this value chart. So I would suggest you also to make this value chart to find out how the gradient you can get from these pencils. So I'm starting from light to dark. You can call this a shade box or the value chart. So we'll start from the lightest pencil 6H and as we go along we'll keep increasing our pencil numbers. After 6H I'm just using the 5H as you see in the picture the grapes. So grapes are very light and the shadows behind the grapes are dark. So that's how we choose the pencil, like the veins in the flowers are very light. So I chose all the edge pencils to draw the veins. And in this flower you see all the deep lines, I choose little dark pencils. This is a stippling project in which you choose various pencils to get the value and make your artwork very realistic. So it depends on your artwork, what kind of value you want. Like in this horse, you are using little H2B pencil. You see if you want little darker shade, so you choose generally 4Bs, 6Bs and 8Bs. They are pretty dark. Oops, this is my daughter's pencil, Ankita. It's lying around with me. So 10B is the darkest pencil. Generally you use 10B to draw the eyes or the shadows like inside of the ear or some ridges. So this is the darkest pencil in the whole lot. But there are two main special pencils. Apart from all these pencils, so one is the F pencils. So F is stands for the firm, that is for the fine tip. So to draw like you see like the veins or like the leaves in this tree or like the fur in an animal you use this and ebony pencil is the 
darker than 10 B to get the jet black color or the very smooth finish like in the eye the shine and the jet black color you use this pencil it's little darker than 10 B generally Prisma color make this ebony pencil so I use it for very dark area just to give the accent here I'm showing you like in this flower so inside the center I use the jet black and the spots if you want to show up very well you use the jet black you can use 4B to give little accent below the dots that's how I'm using the 4B so that's how you have to choose your pencils wisely like in Apple you choose the 6Bs and 8Bs as I showed you in this little check so always check your reference picture where you need that darkest value like in the eye so these are the some samples of the graphite picture which I made and I use all those different pencils to make these. Thank you for watching.